it's okay. Ooh. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy. Wrong side. Are you going to keep all your stickers and stuff on? Maybe. Yeah. I would keep the Intel sticker because it looks nice. Is that the power adapter? Mm -hmm. I think it's on this side. Hmm? I think it's on this side. Nope. God, I feel like I'm gonna break this. Well, you have a warranty on it, so it's okay. <laughs> Are you going to plug it in first thing or just turn it on? It doesn't turn on. It doesn't? Huh? It should have like half battery. Try it. Good. Oh, okay. You stand corrected. It's a pretty thin laptop. Yeah. That's why I like it. Yeah, me too. Is. Yeah. I was at the end of it when I got it. Mm-hmm. I also got a reindeer from there, like a Christmas edition, like reindeer. Yeah. They didn't like want clothes or anything for it. I just wanted a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Reindeers can't wear clothes. Okay, guys. So this is the. Uh... Asus, the Asus F502CA. It's like a three hundred and fifty dollar laptop. We just bought it from Fry's for my girlfriend. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attempt to put a solid state drive in it. Now I know that this laptop doesn't have SATA three; it only has SATA two. But this is still gonna be way faster than the fifty four hundred RPM drive that's in there right now. So we're gonna see if I can even do this. Um, it's kind of an experiment and the drive should last longer than she would want to use the laptop so if she replaces it by then maybe her next laptop will have SATA 3 so she'll be able to use all that write and read speed anyway um, here we go laptop is now taken apart there's the hard drive it's a WD blue 500 gigs I think 5400 RPM and we are going to replace it and I think the RAM is on the back side I think so that yeah the RAM is even more difficult to get to hey <laughs> I had to take um, okay, there's the other side. I had to take this cable out and this cable out those are always tricky to get back in get the pins perfectly connected Anyway, let's continue. Okay, the hard drive is out. I just had a couple screws, and then you slide it this way to disconnect it from that. And then, uh, and then I just have to ugh, focus. I have to take off those mounting screws and take this hard drive out of here, and then put the solid state one in, and put it back in, and see if it works. Drive is out of the bracket. There's the bracket. I had to get a screwdriver with a little more torque on the end. This wasn't really cutting it. Looks like the Intel one came with its own mounting bracket for desktop installation. Some cables, screws, and what I can only assume is a SATA 3 cable. Let's get it in the mounting bracket.
it is. The solid state drive from Intel though comes with a little thing on the top, right here. And I'm not entirely sure whether or not it looks like it's it's low enough for the laptop um, keyboard to go on top of. It. We will find out in a second here. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Nish, and I wanted to interject here to talk a little bit about the process in which this was recorded because I really didn't get the chance to record as much as I wanted to. Um, I would have loved to have, set up, to have set up a shoot and shot it all and given you all the details, but basically everything you were really missing out on was just screwing, unscrewing stuff. Um, the laptop actually wasn't that complex. I mean, it was definitely very delicate and time-consuming, but it was just a bunch of little screws. So as long as you have a small screwdriver, you're pretty much set. Um, I did find that the plastic around the border of the Intel solid state drive prevented the keyboard from depressing completely. So it was actually getting in the way a little bit. Um, I tried taking it out, but it, that wasn't working because the screws and the whole thing is basically designed to have that plastic around it. So that essentially keeps everything together on the solid state drive, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to apologize because I know the video was a little sparse and it cut off there. I'm going to try to get my hands on a little more footage so I can show you guys and give you a second update. But as of right now, it runs great. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's running at the cap of SATA 2, which is like 250 write, 250 read, something like that. Um, either way, it's way faster than a standard 5400 RPM hard drive, and um, she's happy with it. So I will see you guys in the part two, and uh, hope you enjoyed. 